All right, fellas, look, you've been brilliant so far at this Club World Cup, but look, Chelsea have won seven of the last nine Premier Leagues. Okay, so let's just, let's just play a game. We're not gonna pack the bus or anything silly. We're gonna play how we usually play. Let's try our best and see if we can somehow make our way into the final four. Party in the streets and the cities on fire. So number 176 of the New Zealand Builder Nation here on Sean Does FM with Kashmir Technical. I hope you're doing well and come up today we continue at the 2041 FIFA Club World Cup. We're probably low going to get sent home as we take on a team of 1-7 of the last nine Premier League titles in Chelsea in the quarterfinals. And also it's our first time going to a real stadium to so we'll sneak in a bus trip as well. But at the end of last week we just did enough to make our way past the Mamelodi Sundowns in the second round off the back of a penalty shootout. So if you missed that one, I'll leave a link to it over in the top right corner. Now things start to get really tough for us after somehow we topped the group with Boca Juniors and Juventus in as well as a team from Qatar. As you can see, did lose to Boca before that win over Mamelodi, but thankfully two prior wins were enough to see us go through top of our group and then just did enough to get past the Mamelodi Sundowns. But now things start to get really tough for us here as we take on Chelsea. We checked out these guys at the end of last week. As I said, they won seven of the last nine English Premier League titles. So definitely been a dominant force in England so far in the save their key player. Even nowadays, is a bit of an injury doubt going to this game these days. Just an orange injury. He's five days away from being fully fit. He's a player we know quite well, having taken him on with Brazil a couple of times so far when we were playing with the All Whites in the save. Definitely a very good player now, 31 years old. Might be about to go on a bit of a downward spiral at that age in terms of his attributes, but to be fair, most of them are yellow for the position he's playing. He's going to be a real handful for us here in this game. If he does play, but five days still away from an injury return, he might not get risks. So maybe that'll help us out here in this upcoming game. But the Premier League is definitely a league that I have loaded as playable in the safes of Chelsea. Should be a bit tougher than teams who took on in our group, like Juventus and Boca Juniors from Nations. I only head up as view only. We'll just check in and see how they've been getting on in the Champions League, see if they've won this of late, as well as their domination in the Premier League. And it hasn't been quite so strong. They won it back in 2031-32. That would have been before the last Club World Cup, but they did win it two seasons ago. So the beefier, relatively recent winners of the Champions League. But in terms of English teams, they're probably the best of the bunch at the moment, even though they are not the current champions. That would be if we go back and have a look at the Premier League. Currently, it's held by Liverpool, who aren't even at this competition. So I think Chelsea are the best of English teams left here at this Club World Cup. Albeit, if we get past these guys, we could be taking on another team from England in the semis in Arsenal or Man City. And to be fair, if we make the final four, that would mean a big payday for the club. And to be fair, this competition has already done a pretty good job in that regard. Going into it, we were close to a million pounds in debt now. We're about £500,000 up. So hopefully, if we somehow find our way to stay here at this tournament, we can actually make this very nice. Going to our last tournament here, our last big one, with Kashmir Tech, which will be the OFC Champions League come the start of 2042 before the proper World Cup next year with the All Whites over in Germany. But unfortunately, we've still got quite a few injuries here at Kashmir Tech going into this game. Carlin and Brown have just come back from some knocks to be fair. That's been the case for a little while, but Jamie Young, Prince Camalo, and Diego Muzzi asked that with injuries that they picked up during the group stages of this tournament. So those players will be missing to be fair. It does mean that Finn Brown and Cam and that Craig Johnston will be up front instead of Camalo. So two changes there to our usual first 11 because of those injuries and also a little bit weaker in terms of our right wing depth. Does mean that Jens Hausner or Andrew Thomas might have to come on if Wiley Khaled is struggling coming back from that injury, which so far has been a little bit of an issue. It was in that game that we played against Mamelodi the last time around. But as I said, this is actually the first time in this tournament that we are going to a real stadium. We are off to the Izmir Atatürk Stadium here for this clash in the quarterfinals at the Club World Cup. So before we get stuck into this big game, where we're probably going to get sent home by Chelsea, let's sneak in a Turkish bus trip. 
So we're moving hotels for the first time at this Club World Cup, moving cities as well, and we are here in Izmir. We're gonna stay at the Hilton Garden, and it's quite expensive as you can see, 420 bucks a night, give or take, depending on time of the year nearby. There's car dealers, there's a Hyundai, looks like quite a car area. You should be able to find a good minibus nearby. We'll just zoom out a little bit and see if there's any food nearby. There's a Starbucks, we'll just zoom back in a little bit. There was a restaurant there or a cafe. Und Ogatbasi, which is a grill, not too sure what kind of grill it is, but it's a grill of some sort. The pictures of a truck, so not too sure how useful that is. Three and a half star review, maybe. We'll tell the guys to just stay away from there. Also nearby is a carpet retail shop, Turkish carpet. That should be quite good, almost as good as a Turkish haircut. But we are going to stay here at the Hilton Garden Inn. Very expensive, so you'd like to think this will be quite good indeed based on the pictures. It looks relatively fancy, even though only one of them is actually of the outside of the hotel. But interior looks quite good. They've got restaurants, they've got bars. Hopefully, we don't have to move too much. They've got a bit of a buffet there. And to be fair, the view is quite nice. A bit of a seaside view here over in Turkey, as well as a gym, treadmill, a little bit of an exercise cycle situation there, and some weights. That should be all the boys need in between games on a quick backup. So this does look quite nice. There's even a computer room if I can somehow get FM on there while we're over there. So this looks quite nice here, this hotel in the Hilton Garden Inn. In terms of the bus trip, it's about six minutes long and three kilometers. You can see, got a really interesting little in and out, but it's almost U-shaped, that little thing that we're gonna do there before getting onto the actual motorway, which will take us to the stadium. And from there, just drive straight down the road pretty much, take a left-hand turn, and we should be pretty much at the stadium where we're gonna be playing this game in today's episode. So let's start on the outside of the hotel. Hopefully this works. I didn't actually check it, but to be fair, there's lots of blue lines, which should mean this bus trip is a goer. Finally, a decent one we've got here on the channel. So let's start out here outside of the hotel. And thankfully, it's all gonna work out. So here, we're gonna make our way down this road. There you can see the Hilton where we're staying. Doesn't look too good from that angle, but there you can see we get those nice beachfront views there with all the palm trees. There's a restaurant there that should be quite good. 360 is near permanently closed, which doesn't sound too good. So hopefully, there's some other decent restaurants in that hotel that the boys can go to. But let's make our way here out, and we want to take a right hand turn. Holy moly, that got weird briefly. Is this bus trip or you're in trouble? It might be, but there's our minibus there, I think. Nice colourful one there that FIFA must have paid for. Let's take a right-hand turn and get stuck in to the journey and try and figure out what this huge shape thing that we're going to do is actually going to show us here because it was a bit of an interesting road work that we have to make our way through here as we make our way past Izga Port, whatever. That is not too sure. Does it pop up there? If we hover over it, it is auto services. So maybe that's where we're going to pick up this bus from for this trip. We've got one right in front of us, which is a good example. Some fella on the back. Let's just see who on earth is that? I've got no idea, but he's advertising Turkish noodles. I'm not too sure if Turkish noodles are that good. Hopefully someone in the comments knows about Turkish noodles, because to be fair, I know about Turkish kebabs, but not Turkish noodles. But anyway, let's start to make our way here on this very interestingly shaped start to this bus trip. So we're about to now make our way up that bridge, I think was the plan. But I don't know if we can do that at the moment. But now, if we take a little bit of a left-hand turn, we want to go here and up that bridge. So here we go. We've figured out the funny start here to this bus trip. There you can see a big skyscraper around where we were staying there at our hotel. Some interesting graffiti, gusto and whatnot. But let's make our way here up this on-ramp and make our way onto the highway itself. And now going down onto the off-ramp, I think, we've taken an interesting right turn here. So hopefully, this will work. We've got a green light, so let's hope here that we can just do a bit of a UE and get onto this road itself. And thankfully, that's the most difficult part of this bus trip done now. We just make our way straight down this road through the city of Izmir towards the stadium itself. So let's see if anything interesting pops up on our way to the ground. And not too far down the road, making our way past a few palm trees alongside the left-hand side here. We've got a little bit of a shopping center in there. We've got Big Chef's Eggy Perla Subisi, to be fair. I'm not too sure what that is. It just says Big Chef's. I'm not sure if there's a website. It's takeaway. Just don't know what they actually cook, so I'm not really too sure how good that might be. But also up there, 
we've got all this stuff. There's a gym, it looks like there are Mac Fit and all sorts of stuff, and Marks and Spencers. They've got coffee, they've got Starbucks, I think that is there, hidden behind the palm tree, all sorts of shopping. There's a Burger King, that might be the quick takeaway spot on our way back to the hotel here after this game. But that's the first interesting thing we've gone past here on this bus trip. Let's see if much more pops up on pretty much a straight road to the stadium. And after skipping a little bit of an underbridge where Google Maps didn't work, we're actually getting there quite close to the stadium coming up in the distance on the left hand side. So hopefully from here, can actually finish off this bus trip properly. We're still keeping up here with that minibus that we saw before outside of our hotel. There you can see it. Looks a little bit different actually from that side, but it looks a good enough size there for our football team with Kashmir Tech. We still want to go straight for a little bit more, but on the left hand side soon, should start to see a bit more of the football stadium that we're going to be playing here against Chelsea. Hopefully somehow it can upset them, but to be fair, that might be asking a little bit too much against the team who have won seven of the last nine Premier League titles. Let's just make our way here for a little bit of a janky area. It's actually quite a nice day here in Turkey where most of these photos have been taken. Some bright blue skies, but coming up pretty shortly, I think we're supposed to take a bit of a left-hand turn. We'll see if that's actually possible here on Google Maps, because I'm not too sure if it will be, but I think somewhere through there we can get to the stadium, but I'm not too sure if this is going to work quite how Google Maps has told me it will. So maybe we have to go a bit further down the road and then take a left and come back up. So hopefully this will work. Otherwise, this is kind of stuffed up the bus trip just a little bit. Hopefully it won't get too lost. Let's just try and make our way here onto that road, which we are going to have to do here for a click like that. And we want to go the complete opposite way to what Google wants us to. We'll go this way, but to be fair, I don't think we can actually access the outside of the stadium itself, but somewhere in there, that's where we're playing this game here against Chelsea, but not too good of a road entrance covered off here by Google Maps. Hopefully, if we go down this road a little bit more, get away from some of the stuff that might be blocking the view, we'll get a better view of where we're playing. And I think that's it there. You can sort of see it, the faint little edges of the outside of the stadium. Indeed, there's the name of it. That's where we are playing. So we'll just try and get past this truck here and see if maybe down the road a bit further, a bit of a better view of the outside of this place. Also get past here, what looks like it might be a pizza shop, say something being built down the road there with the advertising. But to be fair, I think this might be about as good as we can do here for this bus trip. Over in Turkey, maybe it was a good thing that we haven't been able to do too many of these so far because can't get that close to the grounds. But that definitely is where we're going to play this game coming up against Chelsea, who are probably one of the strong favourites for this tournament, especially considering that some games have already taken place. And I'm pretty sure RB Leipzig, they knocked out Real Madrid. Actually, forgot to run through that earlier, but we'll cover it off off the back of this game, especially if we somehow make our way through to these semi-finals. But indeed, now that view's getting a bit worse, we'll just switch over here and find a view from inside the stadium. We can see it a lot clearer. This is where we're going to be taking on Chelsea here in this game in today's episode and probably where we're going to finish things off here at the Club World Cup as I see only somehow our boys can pull off a massive upset. It's a pretty nice arena. It does have a running track around the football field. So not too sure how the fans feel about this one. They're a fair way away from the ground, even on both sides. That is the case. So in terms of the viewing experience, it's probably not one of the better options here in Turkey, but considering their fan behavior of late, that might not be a bad thing, but unfortunately for the Kashmir Tech traveling fans, they're going to be a wee way away here from the ground, but looks in pretty good nick. Hopefully, we can somehow find a way to pull off a massive upset and keep our time here at the Club World Cup going by making the final four. And here are the team sheets for this quarter final of 2041 FIFA Club World Cup. We are at first, it's our first choice 11 this time around, but of course, Brown and Central are taking the field and Johnson up front with those injuries that we ran through earlier. There are Chelsea going with a 4 2 3 1 as well. Moraes does start on the left wing, so they're actually risking him here against us, which is a bit surprising considering that we're Kashmir Tech. I'll just sort the camera angle off the back of that penalty studio at the end of last week. We'll get stuck into the action, hopefully, can somehow pull off an upset, but probably our last game here at this Club World Cup. And 10 minutes in, we get the first highlight of this game. It's a corner here to Chelsea, the injured Murray. will float that one to the mix, but thankfully, Sifuentes can come out and claim that beefy heel feel at home, being a former Arsenal player wearing red against Chelsea in the blue. He'll definitely 
want to win this game. It hopefully can keep the ball here from this roll out. And thankfully, that is the case. We played out to Otto. He finds Anderson now. Clark, good pass there to Corona in a bit of space. Johnston finds Carly to try to square that one for Otto. Not the best pass, though. And Chelsea do get a chance there on the counter attack. But thankfully, I think that was Corona who worked back to get that ball for us. Now, Brown takes on a shot. It was a good chance as well. Good save by Salamore. But to be fair, offside anyway. And now, down the other end, Murray with a free kick. Sifuentes comes up with a big eye. I think that was double save there. And thankfully, Chelsea then hit that one well over the crossbar. So some good chances there for Chelsea to open up the scoring. But 15 minutes in all now. 20 minutes in, it's still nil all. And just make way past the half hour mark in this game. We'll go thrown here inside the opposition half, which is a bit surprising because so far, Chelsea been all over us in this game. We give the ball away, but good work there from Tim Anderson rushing out of the defensive line to get that back for us. Carly just keeps it. He finds Rivera, makes his way in field, picks out Sam Clark in the middle of the box who puts it away in the top right corner. Let's hope he was on side. Can't actually see the assistant referee from that angle, but he bets Salamore into the top right corner. And Sam Clark gives us a 1 0 lead. Clark actually played that ball to Carled. Rivera cuts in field, and Clark just gets sagged off there to be fair. I think they're marking a few more attacking players there inside the box. Chelsea, but a really good finish there into the top right corner. That's that 20 composure. Maybe it shows a bit more in games instead of penalty shootouts. But a good finish there. We go 1 0 up at the moment. Fair to say we're FMing Chelsea because they've definitely been on the front foot in this game. But thankfully, our one shot on target, quite effective as we make our way into one added minute here of the first half. But we're going to go into the sheds here with a 1 0 lead. Maybe we've got a chance here of making the final four. And if we can beat Chelsea, we might have a sneaky chance of actually winning this whole thing, which sounds absolutely ridiculous considering we were supposed to be doing a save with AFC Auckland. But let's see if we can hold on here in the second half. No changes needed with a 1 0 lead over Chelsea. And five minutes into the second half here, Chelsea, we're on the attack. They try and pick up Moraes, but Rivera will cut that one out. So they're looking for their star player, even though he's carrying an injury. A bit surprised to see he's still actually out there for the second half. So they're risking him in this tournament. Otto now finds Susan. A ton of space there down our left hand side. Floats it far post and Waleg Khaled heads it home bottom right corner. It's a brilliant start to the second half. We've got a cushion goal. We might be going through to the final four. One of our big legends here so far at Kashmir Tech in the save, the former Egyptian these days, the Kiwi right winger in Waleg Khaled just hammers that one home. It's a lovely ball from Sousa after Otto found him in a ton of space down that left hand side. Early stages of the second half, we're 2 0 in front. And just about to make our way up to the hour mark now, I've got a highlight that's about to start for Chelsea, but a few players have gone down to Red Hearts and also picked up yellow cards. We'll try and make some subs here to stop this highlight because it'll probably happen off the back of it anyway. Let's see if we can cancel out the highlight as well. So Hausner at right wing, Turner in the cam roll. I think he might be a bit better suited to this game than De Beer. And also Debenham at right back for Rivera. Unfortunately, still get the free kick, but thankfully we hid that one away there. I think that was Corona and Hosafa there with a good interception. Actually, this looks like a good chance for us here on the counter-attack. Otto makes his way inside the final third, tries to square that one, but Bartoli clears it out to Sousa. Let's see if this highlight continues. It does for now. We're actually holding the ball quite nicely. Corona gets it back now. Rivera, before he comes off, is on the ball. Takes on the shot. It's tipped over there by Salamone. So because of that, let's just cancel those subs for now because I do want to see if anything happens from the subsequent corner, and we'll redo those subs off the back of this highlight now that you guys know what they're going to be. But unfortunately, Chelsea will clear their lines. It will go out for a throw, and I'll make those subs. At the R mark, though, we're still somehow 2 0 in front. And only a few minutes on from that previous hole in those subs that we did make, now we're going to make another one here. Sam Clark's dropped down to a red hut. So Tristan Turner can go back to the deep line playmaker, and Brandon De Beer can come on and central attacking the field. Got one sub left in the last 25 minutes. Still, though, turn long front. And just about to make our way into the last 15 minutes of this game, and it's time here for us to make our final sub because Jonas Otto's dropped down to a 6.3 and a red heart. So Alfonso can come on for him. Corona's also on a yellow card. A bit risky, but he was already sitting on one going to this game, so he'll be suspended for our next one anyway, if there will be one, which currently looks like 
it might be the case, albeit that corner is quite well worked there from Chelsea. They try and put that one top right corner. Thankfully, comes off the woodwork. Corona heads it away, and Eric was offside anyway. But Chelsea, big chance there to get back in this game. To be fair, we're actually starting to get quite even here in terms of stats. And a few minutes later, Chelsea try and make their way out from the back, and they actually do a terrible job. Their goalkeeper clears it quite poorly, and we're on the attack here inside the final third. De Beer will pick at Alfonso. Big touch from Salamone, but puts it away. Off the back of that, let's just tone things down with 10 minutes left, put our wing backs onto support as well as our wing players up front, and also let's be more disciplined and start time wasting, but boy oh boy, we're doing to Chelsea what we did to Juventus in our first game of this competition, we are 3-0 in front, probably not as dominant as we were in that Juventus game, but still, stats wise this game actually quite even, and we have been very clinical with our finishing in this one. De Beer off the bench. Lovely ball for Alfonso. Two of our players there. Quite new to the squad. Some good bench impact. And Alfonso puts it away. Our left wingers here. Our loving life at the Club World Cup. And hopefully we can hold on here and not ball. Which to be fair, it would take some bottle job now. With only five and less minutes left of this game. And a 3-0 lead. But as I say that, four minutes of a time. There's a free kick to Chelsea Bartoli. Susa good interception, but he finds the eye cut off the back of that, and Baji will put that away. His first goal of the season to be fair for Chelsea. They have just ticked over into a new European season, but Chelsea do grab a goal back, but still, it's a bit of a fortunate one. Susa got a good block in there. The ball just didn't quite stick to him, and Bartoli found I could put it away top right corner now. We'll just make sure and go even more time wasty here, and also lower our tempo as well as our passing directness go really narrow in attack. So hopefully Chelsea don't get hold of the ball. But in what has been a pretty even game, at least in terms of off the back of the first half hour, where Chelsea were all over us. We've been very clinical with our finishing. Sam Clark as well as Waleg Khaled. And of course Alfonso off the bench grab goals for Chelsea and get one back late there through Icut. And we knock Chelsea out of the Club World Cup in the quarterfinals, the team that's won the Premier League seven of the last nine years, and of course won the Champions League the year before last. They are going home before the semis here of this Club World Cup. And the little Kashmir technical, we've made our way through to a semi final. We'll go forward and see who that will be against. But that is the biggest upset so far of this tournament, I dare say. We have beaten Chelsea 3 1. You can see their players there, but totally got man of the match somehow. He looks ridiculous, but somehow our boys have outperformed that star-studded team there from Chelsea with Poch back to bottling like he's a Spurs manager. We knocked Chelsea out of this Club World Cup off the back of a 3-1 win. So a huge upset win for us there yet again at this year's Club World Cup, this time over Chelsea. 3-1 stats-wise, they did slay the better of the shots and also position. Their XG also a bit better, but we... We're a bit more clinical with our chances, but definitely didn't get outplayed as much as I thought we would in that game, and we beat them 3-1, so it does mean we're going through the final four of this year's Club World Cup. Just a quick look at the other results from that quarterfinal, because I actually forgot to run through them before we did that bus trip. Up top, PSG lost to Flamengo 1-0 after extra time. That's an upset, as is RB Leipzig knocking out Real Madrid on penalties. Man City absolutely wiped the floor with Arsenal 4-1, and then... We got the job done over Chelsea 3-1, and that does mean coming up tomorrow in the semi-finals, it will be Flamengo versus RB Leipzig and us v Man City. And of course, we saw the Premier League history of late in the save when checking out Chelsea. Man City haven't been quite as good as Chelsea, so I think if we can get past Man City, we might have a sneaky chance here of somehow picking up a Club World Cup with a semi-professional New Zealand team in Kashmir Technical, because you wouldn't think that RB Leipzig or Flamingo would be any stronger than that Manchester City team. But that will do it for today's episode. A big upset again, and we're through the final four of the Club World Cup. Also, that's going to be very good for those finances, maybe. We can even go back to being professional before the club side of the Sabre does come to an end. But if you enjoyed today's episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up, on the video and if you haven't done so or really are enjoying the series here on the channel also make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well until tomorrow for that semi-final we will take on the riches of manchester city still managed by pep guardiola thank you very much for watching keep on keeping on and i'll see you then cheers